Hello there and welcome to Core Finance, where I'm joined by Tim Young, who's a day trader at IONDO. How are you today, Tim? Very good, thanks, Zach. I think you should be happy over the last few days, apart from fighting off your bug, which um, maybe is a FTSE trading bug, um, making too much money. But uh, the FTSE rallied uh, quite nicely over recent days. It has, yeah. I mean, uh, we've been consolidating. We were in this endless sort of range of about seven, uh, around about the 7400 for a long time. And it just looked like it was going to be stuck there for forever. But um, it looks like we've broken up out of that now. So, yeah, I'm... I, my overall feeling on the market, obviously, we, we've maintained those levels and then up at around 7.5 now. So, yeah, it's, um, I think it's looking very positive from the bullish point of view at the moment. Okay, let's have a look at the evidence for that on the uh, four-hourly chart of the FTSE. And uh, just, it's looking nice, isn't it? It is looking nice. I mean, t I mean, you could say that's a little bit oversold. That was a 4.30 yesterday. So we're overbought on the stochastic and a little bit overbought on the RSI. But... Um, as you know, when you get trending moves, it can remain overbought for quite a while. So we might get some sort of short-term pullback, but as, as things stand at the moment, I, I don't. I just don't see it. I, I don't see that happening. Yeah, because we had like a couple of candles ago. We had that long uh, green candle, the 7440 to 7480, let's say. And since then, the, the, the index has actually hovered at or above the high of that candle. So a, a very strong action there. I think so. Um, yeah, that, that's my reading of it. I think we've been consoled all, all this year. We've kind of had a, a top in place of about 7,500. Um, I think the FTSE has been consolidating below that level, but I think it's ready to, to break out over that now. Okay, well, let's uh, move on to the weekly chart, which uh, gives uh, maybe a, a more uh, a longer term perspective, but uh, still looking uh, chirpy. Absolutely. I think. Um, I'm reading this chart that it's ready to now break out. You know, we've been going, as I say, we've been consolidating for quite a few weeks now at this sort of high high level of, you know, 7.3, 7.4, around that level. Um, I think we're now ready to break out uh, over that level. So I wouldn't be surprised if this if this breakout leads to about 7.6 or 7.7 eventually. That's how I see by the end of the year. Yeah, and uh, obviously on this scale... Um the FTSE much uh, less over, well, it's not even overboard at all. It's just like just above the middle, let's say, uh, in terms of the RSI around 60. So plenty of gas in the tank on that front. Exactly. I think that the fact that we've been drifting sideways for quite a few weeks has is, is, um, sort of um, undone any overboughtness that there was. So I think it's set it up technically now for a, a nice move up. And I think that's going to be driven quite a lot by the US as well. I think the, the NASDAQ is probably going to, be breaking out soon as well. So um, yeah, I think the FTSE is going to join in, join in with the rest of the indices. And um, I think we're going to see new highs within the next month or so. Okay. And uh, just for today, what, what would be your uh, field position? I think if it, if we get a drop in the FTSE down to 7475, I'd be buying there with a target of 7525 and a stop of 7450. So sort of two to one risk to reward ratio. But as things stand, I'm not sure if it is going to drop down that low. So we may not get a chance to buy in at those levels. But if we do, I'd be buying at 7475. Okay, well, patience is a virtue. Uh, Tim Young, day trader at Ayonda, thank you for joining us there. And I hope you get better soon. Thanks, Zach. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.